Alright, so this is a quick video on how to use the Stig and Scap tool. Uh, there's not much material online, so I decided to create this video just to give you guys a quick run through because it's uh, commonly used in DoD and there's not much training for it. So, um, I will provide downloading links in the video, um, but for right now I have everything downloaded and in this folder. Stig Viewer, which is a jar file. Stig's folder, which we got Windows 10 for the demo. Scap tool, which you will be running this scc.exe, and benchmarks, which again is the Windows 10 Scap benchmark. So the first step is to load the Stig Viewer. You get a blank screen like this. Go up ahead and go to File, Import. I'm going to load the Windows 10. Stig. So right now these are all not reviewed. I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark. Checklist. Create checklist from Stig. Now we have all of the not reviewed vulnerabilities. You can also go to Cat1, Cat2, Cat3. These are severity. Cat1 being obviously the worst, most severe. And that's where you're going to want to start um, work your way through. You can get host data. The role obviously would be a workstation. From within here, uh, here's the exact registry locations to see if this is applied yet. Um, how to apply a group policy or modify group policy to fix it. And within here, you can put your notes um, and comments. After you fix the finding, you can now change it to not a finding, which will change the status to green. Um, if it's still open because the fix would break something, you have to note that in here as well. And if it's not applicable, say you're working on zipper and this applies to nipper only, you would check that. Um, so the automated scap portion, um, which takes some of the manual checking out of this. Um, I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go up to the SCAP tool, which again, after extracting this, is going to be this scc.exe. It will load this. We're going to do local computer, but obviously you can do remotes as well. Um, we're going to go and go to edit, content and options. This is all the pre-included material, which is in the SCAP content folder. Um, we're going to go ahead and install the additional Windows 10 SCAP tool I downloaded. Which I already did earlier, but you won't get that message. It'll just say install successfully. So make sure you have it checked. Um, I'm going to do mine to Mac 2. Um, that's just more severe. Uh, it does a few additional checks. Um, when I did Mac 1, there was a few less automatic uh, checks that it did, so I'm going to do Mac 2. But the default is fine, just depends on your environment. So after we have that selected, we're going to go ahead and click Analyze. Um, I like to turn McAfee off if you have that enabled, just because it'll slow your scan down. But if you're not able to do that, that's fine. You can leave it running. Let's give this a second to do the checks. All right, now it's done. It does tell you the folder that it puts it in. Um, I went ahead and moved it already, so um, but you can navigate to that folder. But I did a results folder here with the date, XML, <coughs> specific file we want has the XCCDF in it. So when we go back to our Stig viewer in our checklist, we're going to go to import that file. So either navigate to the default folder, or in my case, it's in this results folder here. Again, get the XCCDF results. And it has now automated some of those checks for you. They're all color-coded. 
Um, again, red being the cat ones that are open. Um, green are not a finding, so you still have to do manual checks on these. Um, they're not reviewed, but this, the benefit of the scap tool is it automates a lot of this for you. So um, I like to save this checklist. Um, a checklist folder. Windows 10. Stig checklist or whatever you want to call it. So here, for example, registry location, um, group policy, so modify the So something like that. Um, after you fix it, uh, finding it's now green. Um, at a minimum, I worked through all the scap stuff. If you have more time, you can go through these as well. So that's basically it. You work your way through, again, cat 1s, cat 2s, cat 3s, to you get all of them resolved. Save your checklist once you're, whenever you're finished. Um, and then the next step would be to have your IA scan using um, ACAS and see if there's any other um, findings that you need to resolve. But that's the basic rundown on how to use the STIG tool and the SCAP tool. Um, the rest is just kind of self-explanatory. Um, but wanted to show you the basics.